Lou Alaruzzo is doing something different. It involves a novel technology in the field of interventional immuno-oncology. Interventional immuno-oncology in its simplest form is the convergence of tumor destruction with immune stimulation to attack the cancer. And we're spearheading this new field through the development of our lead asset, IP001. IP001 is the name for a one-of-a-kind immune-stimulating drug developed by the St. Louis-based biotechnology company Immunophotonics. The company launched in the Biogenerator Lab in the BioSTL building in St. Louis. CEO and co-founder El Aruzzo is helping his company make groundbreaking progress with the promising cancer treatment. First, the proprietary carbohydrate polymer, IP001, is designed to be coupled with common methods for tumor ablation. With tumor ablation, you're leaving behind the dead tumor tissue, and typically that's cleared through standard physiological processes. And what's interesting is that tumor debris contains information about the cancer. To retrieve that information, Alaruzzo says the company's new technology first successfully infiltrates what remains of the enemy after the ablation procedure. Tumor fragments, such as particularly tumor antigens, and tumor antigens are the distinguishing element between cancer and self. So if you can utilize that tumor antigen and say this is what the enemy looks like, we can use that information to train the immune system on what they need to seek out and destroy wherever it is in the body. In a way, the drug is designed to investigate, kind of like a spy. That then captures what the enemy looks like. So it has a specific charge profile along its, the backbone of this very large molecule. And that allows it to intertwine, interact with biological material and physically pull it and retain it on site. We hold it in a location and we slowly hand out that information as immune cells come and say, hey, I'd like to see what you're holding. The mission in this battle begins when the therapy is injected immediately following the ablation. It's the beginning of what would become the body's ability to wage war on cancer. And then the immune system recruits its army, the killer T cells. And it sends that army out not only to the ablated or destroyed tumor tissue, but also distant, untreated tumors that might also be in the body. And that's the innovation of IP001. We're now to the point where we've transitioned into early clinical studies that were led by investigators. We've completed our phase one B trial. And in general, um, well, I can't discuss all of the details. I can say the physicians are excited. I can say there are signals that our team's excited about. The drug is now in phase two clinical trials taking place in Europe, a huge accomplishment. And when Alaruzzo thinks about how it all started, he can't help but smile. Complete serendipity. Uh, researchers from two different fields, one cancer research and one that was a physicist, were studying tumor ablation or tumor destruction techniques. And for a completely different reason, they decided to use this viscous substance in their experiments. And one of the researchers came back and said, well, this isn't supposed to happen. They kind of scratched their head and they said, all the tumors disappeared. And so they repeated the experiment. And again, all the tumors disappeared. And eventually they found out that this viscous substance, now known as IP001, our company's lead asset, was in fact the agent that was creating the desired effect. Alaruzzo is excited about how he believes IP001 will advance cancer treatments for many kinds of cancer. And that's not all. Some promising results that indicate applicability in infectious disease applications. The combination of IP001 or a derivative of IP001 with, for example, COVID proteins that is applied in the intranasal cavity has the potential to produce a strong and robust immune response against COVID. We've shown through some research that just by injecting our drug into the nasal cavity of mice, and then if the mice are exposed to lethal doses of the virus, just the injection of our drug actually creates an immune response into the nasal mucosal cavity that prevents a serious infection associated with the virus. 
which is so fascinating. It's so simple, so straightforward, and it's we're just getting ready to publish it.